good day students it's a long time since we have played the game and the game stands for gross and microscopy explained in this session we shall be restricting ourselves predominantly to the morphological and the microscopic findings of each of the disease which is predominantly again kept as a spotter or a specimen for you people welcome to this program in this session we shall be seeing the polyps of the intestine it is an essay question by itself but as i had promised i shall be confining myself to the reams of gross and microscopy alone the significance of it is given within the enclosure and it is a cross reference that we should be bearing in mind henceforth rats polyps of intestine a polyp is a lesion that projects above the surface of the mucosa or skin and we shall be concentrating on the intestinal polyps which may be either solitary or multiple pedunculated or sessile neoplastic or non neoplastic again there are a series of pictures in this i would like the student to kindly choose the picture that matches the specimen or the slide in his or her college in this enclosure i am finding an intestine this is a mucosa and these are the vasculature which might be seen and there are some mucosal folds there is a large polypoidal lesion which is sessile it doesn't have a stalk and whenever we describe a polyp there are certain things we should bear in mind one will be the number second one the size the varying sizes third will be whether it is pedunculated or sessile and what about the external surface so it is a way we could describe this particular specimen this is a mounted specimen of a part specimen of the intestine measuring so many centimeters long the mucosal surface shows a large polyp measuring so many centimeters in diameter it is sessile and smooth it has got a pinkish hue of course in our colleges we will be having formal and fixed specimens which will be appearing grayish white the external and the mucosal surfaces of the intestine are unremarkable there is no evidence of hemorrhage or necrosis this is yet another specimen again the description is given here it is a segment of the intestine measuring so many centimeters long the external surface is pinkish gray and unremarkable the mucosal surface shows the intestinal rugae or folds and the lesion is a solitary sessile polyp measuring so many centimeters in diameter it is reddish brown in color the surface is lobulated if you observe carefully it is not smooth it has got very minimal lobulations there is again no evidence of necrosis or hemorrhage this is the third specimen which i have again retrieved from the net in this i am finding it is again a resected specimen of the large intestine i am finding the rugae of the intestine multiple polyps are seen you can very well count by yourself multiple polyps are seen and they vary in size so i am seeing a small polyp a larger polyp and a much larger polyp over here they vary in size from dash to dash centimeters they are predominantly sessile i do not find any stalk maybe this particular one is having a stalk but they are predominantly sessile and they have got a smooth surface 
look at this one it has got a smooth glistening surface whereas some are appearing a little friable so these findings you people should mention in your description the external surface that is the back side of this is a serosa it generally appears unremarkable so multiple polyps in the recto sigmoid region before i lose this specimen generally we are supposed to identify the large intestine because there might be an adjoining rectum and the rectum will be showing an anal tag of skin by that we will be definitely able to say that it is a recto sigmoid specimen and this is a beautiful diagram which i would like you people to draw in your theory as well as the practicals a normal mucosa and this is a stalk which is again being covered by the normal mucosa and higher up i find it is being replaced by a polypoid lesion and any of this one has been shown and the others are for completion there are multiple glands which are being separated or supported by a thin lamina propria so this is a diagrammatic representation of a polyp please register it in your mind and the examination paper and this is a microscopy this is a slide in some of the colleges i find that there is a normal intestinal and mucosa there is a peduncle that is again partly lined by the normal intestinal mucosa with the goblet cells higher up there is a dilatation or the bulging of it forming a polypoidal lesion which has got multiple glands of varying sizes and some of them are lined by clear cells the goblet cells whereas some are showing cuboidal epithelium so these we should be able to mention this is the surface mucosa that i am finding it is intact does not ulcerated and these are the glands over here some glands show some cystic dilatation and this is a peduncle it is not polyp it is a peduncle or stalk please draw this in your records and the exam the microscopic description should go as follows section studied shows a polyp of the intestine the surface shows cuboidal cells or goblet cell lining the mucosa on either side is unremarkable that is on either side of the lesion the lesion is composed of multiple well punched out glands with slight variation in size the glands have a basement membrane and are lined on the inner aspect by either cuboidal cells or goblet cells the intervening stroma is loose lamina propria it can sometimes be infiltrated with lymphocytes please remember these points the basement membrane cuboidal cells goblet cells surface epithelium etc here again it's the same so there is a surface epithelium of the mucosa that i am seeing and these are the glands they are being supported by a stroma for anybody to stand on we need we need a support and that is a stroma and i am finding multiple dot like structures which are the lymphocytes so cuboidal or goblet cell lining punched out glands and this is the lining of the glands the external surface is the basement membrane on the inner aspect i am finding the glands some students draw the glands outside which is a big mistake here of course it can be outside because the basement membrane is lower down but in the gland it should be within it and the lamina propria supported by the lymphocytes see you in game 15